guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, we managed to defeat Clay for our fifth badge, and now it is time to go straight to Route 6, but before we go anywhere further, guess who's coming in? Bianca. Oh, hi, Draven! Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are! Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's the Travail Gym Badge! Oh, that's totally cool, that's amazing! Oh, damn, she's like looking and she's like, No, 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 I, I, uh, I can't get distracted being all impressed uh, with your shiny new badge. I'm also a trainer. At times like uh, this, you battle, right? Mm, yeah, kind of, I guess, I don't know. Well, we're going to be battling again. Our good old buddy, best friend, our Biffle. Potential girlfriend Bianca would like to battle, and oh, look at that, she's trying to pull her Pokeball out. That's awesome. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start trying to get my Pokemon, uh, the ones who are still in the level 20s, to get to level 30s because we're gonna definitely need them right here in this next one. So let's go with the Nair Cutter. Hopefully, this will actually uh, beat this guy. Maybe, I don't know. Nope. Critical hit though. So that, that healed item that it has, it's actually working right there. And this guy is increasing its stats right now. Okay, its special attack has risen. My Pokemon can sure take that, I'm sure. Well, probably. I don't know. Psywave. For the win. And, uh, well, just like that, she does love to use her Hyper Potions on her Pokemon right there. And he avoided that attack. So let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam. Let's go, Gigalith. Let's get this. Come on, okay, and then it's, uh, yeah, she's using her workup attack just to mess with me again, oh crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, finish this guy off with Air Cutter. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Rudier. No more. Look at that, look at that. And she's going to be coming out with a Pants so let's just take care of this right here. Let's use Gigalift, and let's get to level 30 right away. So here we go again, Air Cutter. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that that hit me, not I not am. And there we go. Air Cutter gets it. Pantsage defeated. Yeah, buddy. And uh, let's see. He's gonna, she's gonna be coming out with a pig nine. So I'm just gonna continue on right here with Gigalift. This is the Gigalift show. You have a fighting type Pokemon. Gigalift eats fighting type Pokemon for breakfast. The breakfast of champions. Psychic and flying type Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, look at that. Look at that, Pig Knight defeated. Three Pokemon and Gigalith is kicking ass. Look at that, keeping that Pimp Pan strong. And she's gonna be coming out with a Musharna, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see, Shatter, it can do it. Hopefully, I don't know, if it's not that slow. I don't know, I really don't know, but let's get it. Musharna, the strongest Pokemon it has, and uh, you better be careful for that Faint attack right here, not the not the brick break in anything. So here we go, faint attack. Nearly finishes this guy off. Here we go again, faint attack. Oh yes. And uh, crud, there go, there comes that hypnosis. Ah uh, crud, ah uh, crud. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use an awakening right here for this Pokemon. Hopefully this. Hopefully Musharna doesn't make my uh, my Shatter faint or anything. There we go. You are now awakened, and Bianca heals her Pokemon right there. So that we're back to square one. Let's go with the faint attack. Okay. Faint attack. Nearly takes that. Defense curl. God, you gotta be so defensive and all that crud. Okay. Let's go with another attack right here. Let's go with headbutt because it is very very uh, offensive right here. And god dang it. So now it's beefing up its defense. Yeah, Bianca's giving us a show right now, so let's go with a faint attack right now. Come on. Come on. Faint attack again, and no hypnosis this time, so let's go another faint attack. Come on, Shatter. Do it for the bitches. Oh, cried it. And, well, there, there's that, yeah, there's that defensive uh, thing again. So let's go finish this guy off with another faint. Yes. And that, that is how you do it. You fainted, and here comes that Moxie. All right, all right, all right. And uh, Bianca's like, oh, I lost. You kind of did. I'm sorry. I don't 
you know? I don't feel sorry for Charon, but for you? Eh, yeah, maybe a little. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Draven. You've become totally strong, huh? I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way tuned into how your po Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I have to share this, H uh, this HM with you, Draven. And look at that, we get ourselves the HMO2 fly. Finally, we can fly back to anywhere. And homegirl here is like, my papa gave it to me after I tr he tried to take me back home. I'm sure it's uh, it's so I can uh, come home anytime he wants, though. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, hey, I have to share this with uh, Charon, too. Don't share it with Charon, please, just with me. Come on. Be cool. Come on. See you, Draven. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Okay, so we got the fly. We got the fly HM, so that's awesome. That's great. And uh, we got a Pokemon that we can teach it to. So let's go ahead and teach this Pokemon move to Gigalith. And uh, well, should it learn? Okay. I don't need light screen. So we got both flying and psychic type attacks right here. And uh, okay, so let's see. Now that there is snow, we can, we are actually able to get some stuff right here, some extra items. And uh, let's go right ahead and uh, move on down right here. Let's see, let's see. So here we are in round six. I believe we've already been here before. We've been attacked by a few Pokemon here and there just because. You know, we were uh, meddling uh, in their way and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and start using repels because I don't want to be attacked by any Pokemon right now. So let's go right on ahead and just battle the trainers here. So here's one. He's a scientist. He looks cool. And he's like, hmm, you're an interesting case. Please help me with my experiment. If it's about, if it's going to be like Mewtwo, I don't want to do it. Seeing what he's done. So here we go, Science William coming out with his Deerling, and uh, we've already faced the Deerling before. Yeah, it was a tough little cookie right there. No, uh, no problem, I'm gonna be using a, a fly attack. I'm gonna be taking care of business right now, so here we go, fly attack, let's get it. And uh, fly attack does it, oh yes, nearly takes care of Deerling right here, and Deerling's coming with this uh, takedown attack right now. Oh crud, okay, so let's go. Air cutter, let's get it. Yeah, buddy. Oh uh, yeah. That's how you take care of that stuff right there. And uh, William's like, hmm, it's difficult to result uh, with this method. What kind of method do you have? I don't know. Alright, so let's move on. And uh, there's a lady there waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Shedder this time. Shedder. Shedder the Shredder. Alright, let's see what you got to say. My Pokemon, or Pokemon with dry skin, love water type moves, and rainy weather. I'm talking about the ability of these Pokemon, of course. Oh yeah, that is true. That is so true, and... Uh, crap, I can't... Uh, yeah, I can't surf or anything like that. So, we're gonna be moving on right here, and we got a Pokemon Ranger ready for us. The Go Go Power Rangers right now. We are totally in sync! Using our amazing connection, I will teach you all about Pokemon Rangers. Power Rangers. They've got the ability to morph and to even up the score. Yes, I love that song. I really do. And here we go with the Mulga. And uh, Homeboy right here has no problem. Oh, crud. It is a flying type Pokemon. Crap. Uh, does it have a rock type attack? No, it doesn't. Yeah, that kind of screwed me over right there. So let's go with our good old buddy Drillmonger. This is probably the first battle we're having with uh, the new and improved Drillmonger right here. Excadrill, look at that. He looks he looks pimping hard. And uh, yes, Shockwave does not work on me. So let's get this Rock Slide. Just like we de defeated Elisa, Rock Slide takes care of Emolga. Real quick. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's going to be coming out with the Deerling. So let's go ahead and start using some different Pokemon right here. Let's go with Hotshot. It's been a while since I've used Hotshot. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so Deerling, remember, it is a grass and normal type Pokemon. I think I said it in a few episodes ago. I did. Oh, I was thinking of using Deerling and evolving it into Saucebuck. Saucebuck. I love that name. Probably gonna name it Bambi or something. I don't know. The typing is interesting, and the moves that it that it learns is pretty awesome. The thing is, 
like, yeah, yeah, again, Pokemon dynamic and all that stuff. It, it, it really wasn't, like, it really wasn't talking to me. I don't know. Let me see. I'm kind of thinking about it right now. So I got a fighting and dark type Pokemon. I got a flying and psychic type Pokemon. I got a normal type Pokemon. Ground and steel. Fire type and water type. What more can you want? I mean, I am missing an electric and ice type. Ice type cap capabilities Psy can use. Uh, electric type attacks, Ace can probably use. Yeah, I think I'm okay. You know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, with these youngins say, I'm Gucci and all that stuff. So let's see. What do we go? Okay, Parasol Girl. Let's see what you got. Pouring Rain, fighting Pokemon. Alrighty, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Parasol Lady Nicole wants the battle, and her Pokemon is Time Pool. Scary little Pokemon right now. Why didn't you evolve your Pokemon? I don't know. Actually, in Unova. Yeah, in Unova they do have some interesting typings. Interesting Pokemon as well. Like, if I wasn't going to use... If I wasn't going to use, uh, what was it, Sigh of the Torrent, I probably would have been using Time Pull as well. Just because it's both a ground and water type Pokemon. Kind of like Lucky in Pokemon Crystal. And, uh, let's see, Time Pull is coming out again, so... You know what? We're gonna continue on right here with Shatter. Why ruin the momentum right now? Okay, let's go. Let's go with another headbutt. See what it does. Oh, crud. What are you doing? Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Headbutt takes care of that. And you have been saved, and yes, the shell bell is actually working. So let's go with a brick break. And why are you doing that? Seriously, that's just annoying. There we go. There we go. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, yes. More and more boost ups. So, Shatter is gonna take care of everybody. Let's just, uh, continue on with, uh, with, the, with the assault right here. Now it's been boosted up twice, so let's go ahead and keep on using that brick break right here. Okay. There you go. Time pull. Defeat. Ready. And more Moxie. So it's becoming a stronger and stronger Pokemon, and yeah, that Shell Bell is actually working right there. So it's a good combination. Let's continue on right here. Let's do it. What's up? Why do you have time pulls? Seriously, you could have had a whole fleet of what you might call it. So the the big old Toad Seismic Toad. Yeah. See, you see, I kind of forget these names already. And look at that. Time pull defeated, and more Moxie for this Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, and uh, Nicole has been defeated. That's right, you have been defeated, my lady. Okay, so let's move on right here. We got another Pokemon trainer waiting for us. Oh, so, let's see, who is a, who is a, okay, you know what? Shatter needs to get to level 30. Let's just do this right here. What is he saying? I will research and investigate your Pokemon. That's all you need to say. Okay, Scientist Ron Swanson wants to battle, and uh, I guess, I guess, Deerlings are very, very, uh, I guess Deerlings are, are wait, wait, whatchamacallit, uh, popular around here. So let's go right ahead, and, uh, well, the, he's using an X attack right here, so let's go ahead and use that Brick Break, and that right there. We defeated him, okay, alrighty. Okay, so we got this. Look at that. Look at that. Ron Swanson is not too happy with me right now. Okay. Alright, so let's see. We've reached the... What is this called? Yeah, the research... The Season Research Lab. Now, in here, you can actually... If you have a deerling, they will want to check the seasonings and all that stuff, or the forms it has with its seasons. Yeah, it's one of those Pokemon with different forms and all that crud. And now that we are in the winter time, uh, we can actually do that. So what I'm going to do right now... How do you get that? Okay. I'm going to go in here. Let's go ahead and talk to this person right now. And uh, let's see. We research changes in nature that occur due to the seasons. Consider the Pokemon Deerling, which lives in the forest. Its appearance is said to change according to the season. This is a characteristic is a... Or this characteristic is a of great interest to us. We want to research this Pokemon and observe its seasonal changes. That's why we developed Marvelous Climate Control System that transcends the seasons and allows us to freely adjust temperature and humidity. Up, up to this point, everything has been fine, but 
we are really, or we are very busy, and we haven't really had a chance to catch a mini dearling to study. So this is what uh, we would like to ask you. First, please capture a dearling. Then, when its appearance changes, could you bring it back to us? And then, uh, when we've confirmed the change to the dearling to, that you bring us, we will also go search for the season's dearling. How about it? If you don't mind, would you please show us a dealing that looks like it no, right now or whatever. I don't even have it right now, so that's one thing. Now, I think in Pokemon uh, Black and White 2, you can actually get a dealing right here. And uh, I think it has a special move, probably. I don't know. And let's see. Twist Mountain is beyond the Mistralton. It has snow depending on the season. That's cool. It does have snow. And uh, let's see. He controls the humidity. Now, if you talk to this guy, some Pokemon changes their appearance depending on the season. Could that be considered a type of evolution? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I will not battle you just yet. And uh, there is an uh, Dino right there. Okay, so here is a Deerling. Again, I really wanted to capture Deerling. I really did. I was thinking of a new team. I admitted it. And this guy would not let me disappear. Good God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna earn crap on a crapsicle stick. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna earn that level 30. God dang it! You suck. And here we have a Swadloon. I also wanted to capture a Swadloon. Many of you guys requested that, but it wasn't in the plans right here. Although I have used it off screen. And, yeah, I see what you guys mean. It is a very, very good uh, grass-type Pokemon. Grass and bug-type Pokemon. So that's good. Two good capabilities right there. And uh, here we have Swadloon again. Asking us, hey, can we be your Pokemon? Now, one thing about Swadloon is that you... In order to evolve it, you have to keep it happy. And knowing me, the grass-type Pokemon... wasn't going to be too happy right there. Alright, let's go... Talk to this lady right here. She wants the battleless. What's up, girl? I will unlock the mechanism to find the secret of your power. Well, what kind of mechanism of my power it is? I got these guns right here, and here comes Maria. Coming with her dearling. And, yeah, again. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold the horses right here. Okay, so if you guys have no time to capture dearling, then how come your scientists are out here with dearling? That right there is another question for another time that won't be answered, I guess. And she is going to be using her X speed. She's going to be. Oh, a lot of these scientists are going to be using a lot of uh, X items right now. And look at that. Say goodbye to Deerly. And say hello to the Moxie right there. Look at that. Moxie. Alrighty, Moxie. And uh, look at that. Shatter finally grows to level 30. And Sign of the Torrent grows to level 35, which is cool. Awesome. Close to evolution right there. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, uh, well, I think it was in this last episode that if you see a Pokeball in the middle of the grass, don't think that it's just the Pokeball. It might be a freaking fungus. And you know how pissed off many people get when you're facing a Pokemon, not an item. They all like free shit, right, guys? Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this person right here. And she's going to be going... Are fun with Pokemon. Do you want to play with us? Yes, I do. Let's do this. Okay, so what do you got? Parasol Lady uh, Thahana. Uh, Tihana. Sorry if I butchered your name. She will be coming out with a Vanillite, and uh, this Pokemon right here is a bad matchup for my Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Hotshot. Okay, Hotshot. I'm going to give you some loving right now. Mucho. Awesome loving and here comes that avalanche attack good gravy not so effective let's go fire punch and uh, yeah its effect is kind of screwing me over again okay and uh, what is it doing ah oh, crap more accuracy uh, issues right here not right now all right fire punch does its thing and, uh, well, let's see, what do you got? Frillish. Coming out with a Frillish. Frillish! And, uh, let's see, what kind of a move can I use right here on the Frillish? It is, oh yeah, Shedder. <laughs> Forgot about that guy. Alrighty. Let's get this. 
Frillish. You are a ghost type Pokemon too, right? And look at it, there are two forms of Frillish. Remember, a female and a male version. Yeah, obviously, male version is blue, female is pink. And uh, there we go. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Kicking ass, taking names, all that crud. And uh, who is next? Nobody. And you know what? let's go ahead and heal my Pokemon right here because I do not want to. I do not want to mess up right now. Although there is an area right here we can actually heal your Pokemon. That's one. And hold on. There's two. Okay. All right. So let's go right ahead and. Uh, uh, be attacked by these funguses, and uh, did I use any kind of repels right now? Probably. Okay, there we go. Repels. Alright, let's go ahead. There you go! That's a fungus right there! That's a friggin' fungus! Fungus! You are a deceitful little bastard. I'm not going to battle you. I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go with this fungus. No, nope, it's an actual leaf stone, which is good. And that might be the fungus right there. Yes, it is. It is fungus. Good God. Freaking fungus. And uh, sometimes it might not be fungus. It might be its evolved form, too. Could be wrong. I don't know. Am I wrong? I don't even know. Yeah, now let's move on right here. Okay, so let's see. Is there a hidden item right here? Hold on. Next, oh, actually, wrong thing. Let's see. Uh, the dowsing machine. Ah, nothing right here. We're gonna be battling another Pokemon Ranger right here, or another Power Ranger. Oh, crud. Okay, stop moving around, girl. Alright! Let's get this. I will show you how energetic I've become uh, just by being here. Well, you've been running around in circles, giving me a confusion and all that crud. Okay, so here we go. Power Ranger Richard wants the battle, coming out with the Minchino. And let's go. Okay, so Lexi, the last Pokemon on my team that needs to get to level 30. So we're flying up that high. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here we go. Fly, let's get this. And that cute charm makes my Pokemon fall in love with them. Good God. That's ridiculous. Okay, and uh, right, that's another one right there for uh, for uh, for what you would call it, uh, surf or uh, swift attack. And I'm still in love with this Pokemon. Come on, Cybabe. Better. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. There we go. And let's see, Amulga's coming out. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Drillmonger right here. Let's let's just destroy him. Let's wreck him. Rock 'em, rock 'em, sock 'em, uh, robot right there. Just remember those guys. And here comes uh, Mulga. And Mulga looking all superhero ish. One of the pesky Pokemon of the Unova region, in my opinion. And look at that. Rock Slide does it. And Drillmonger getting it, his boost of energy. And uh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, it's a very good Pokemon. Very, very, very good Pokemon. And yes, she will be giving me a chair, or he will be. He will be giving me a cherry berry afterwards, and, uh, well, she's dead. Well, he's telling us to thank Mother Nature later. Let's see, that guy might have some some ground-type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and use Sigh of the Torrent. See if we can evolve him right here. All right, bring it. Uh, Church Road Cave seems to, uh, seems like a complicated maze, but actually, it's a straight road. It really is. Okay, so, first and foremost, let's talk to this guy. Here on Route 6, there is a place called Mr. Alton Cave. Supposedly, deep in the cave, you can uh, find the amazing Pokemon called Cobalion. Uh, Cobalion. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Who was said to be uh, a protected Pokemon from a sea of fire in ancient Unova? If you can use the move Surf, that lets you move over the water's uh, surface. Maybe you could see Cobalion. That is true. That is very, 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 very true. Uh, the only thing is that I've never done it in the last few walkers that I've ever done. Actually, I kind of left off on that stuff, too. Now, if you talk to this lady, she will heal your Pokemon. Throw it at a peace sign. That's right. And uh, let's see. If we go right here, uh, Celestial Tower to Route 7. I have a ring the bell for my Cottony. Okay, and then uh, do you give me... Oh, yes, she gives me something, and we get ourselves a Shiny Stone, which will help us evolve any kind of uh, well, certain Pokemon right here. 
Okay, so the repel's worn off. I can't go anywhere beyond the dark grass right there. And, uh, let's see. Hold on just a sec. I gotta use one more repel just in case. Alrighty, so here we are at the very entrance of a uh, Charstone Cave. And as you can see, there's a spider web right there. And, uh, well, we're gonna be going straight forward right here. Thanks for waiting! What the hell? Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are! What up? The Clint Eastwood of the anime. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called a Garbantula, or Galvantula. Don't know why they, they're nests here, but if you if there are folks having problems, then Gym Leader's there to fix it. To fix it. Wow, he has a really, really big uh, vernacular. vernacular. Crookerock, take it down. Alrighty. And look at that, it is using Bulldoze, and uh, no more Spiderweb right there. And this TM is yours, it's my favorite TM, so you can teach it to, to all your Pokemon. And look at that, throwing out the peace sign, TM78, Bulldoze, the TM that I was supposed to get. It's called Bulldoze. This uh, move does uh, damage and lowers the speed of any Pokemon it hits. Some ground type Pokemon move a little slower than you'd think. If you use Bulldoze right, you can cover that weakness. That is true. Very, very true. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think uh, if you think you can go, well, go wherever. And if you think you can do something, keep on doing it. Do things you, how you want it. Decide your own limits. Okay, I'm ready. Hard words from a hardened man. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, I am not taking two parts onto this cave area right here. It is a long one, a very, very long one. But we're going to do it all in one episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.